Welcome to class. I'm delighted you decided to join Police Test Tutors Online. I'm Stevie Daniels. I'm there on the right, and I'm standing with one of my students who is uh, now CHP officer, as you can tell, but she is one of the students who took this class and did very well and was able to get into CHP Academy and thus become a CHP officer. So my goal is for you to wear the uniform of the department of your choice, and of course, I'm going to be helping you get there. So let's get started on your orientation. Let me show you uh, the ropes and what you should do as the first thing going in. So once you signed up, you're going to go check your email and you're going to have something that looks like this, your new Stevie Daniels Police Test Tutors account. You're going to click on it to open it up. And in this case, I've actually set up a trial student. It's This is a fictional student called Wendy Wood and it's um, her email address and the password. Now, of course, you're not going to use any of this information because it's just uh, for a test student and it's just fictional, but you're going to use your username, which will be your email address, and then whatever password Kajabi sends to you. But just for illustration purposes, I've used this uh, created account just as a test student, okay? So you'll get that and you'll look at what your username is. Again, it's going to be your username for your email address that you gave me when you signed up and then whatever password. So let's hit the login here and we'll show you what it looks like to go in. So what it looks like here is you're going to go ahead and put in your email address that you used. And for this student we we'll call it that. Okay and then whatever password that they gave you. And to go back here it was this password here so we're going to copy and paste that. And then we're going to go ahead and sign in. Now, I would highly recommend that you change your password because the one that you're given is quite random. And uh, you want to figure out something that's a little it's secure, but it's easier for you to remember. So this is the screen that you'll see once you first log in. And you're taken automatically to library. And this is the course that you've signed up for. And here's your My Courses. And you're just going to click on the right sign here, My Course. And you also have my library, which is going to be one in the same for you. Okay, so we're just going to do view course. And what you're going to see here is all the lessons that are available to you. Now I'm going to send you after you take your first assessment exam, I'm going to send you a customized study plan, but you are free and welcome to go in and take a look at everything that's here and work on things that you would like to but you are going to get a customized plan. Of course, there's ways for you to communicate with me things about me that maybe you want to know. What is of greatest interest as you first sign up for this class is you need to take the first initial assessment test so I can tell you what your strengths and weaknesses are and I can give you your initial, your initial score, which is your initial T-score, so we can find out how close you are to the state's requirement or to your particular police department's requirement for you to get into their agency, okay? So you are going to concentrate on post-exam one, which is our initial assessment. So go ahead and open that up. And you're going to see on the left here, it tells you exactly all the steps that you need to do to take this initial assessment test. You're the one that's going to actually open up all the files on the right because all the files on the right contain the entire assessment exam. And once you open it, you're just going to set your watch or your phone for two and a half hours. And then you're just going to write your answers on a separate sheet of paper. Notice that I'm just saying everything that's in the directions right here. Okay. Then you're going to write down your answers for each section. And then when your two and a half hours is up, stop so you can have a good idea of what you can do in two and a half hours. Don't give yourself more time because then that's cheating and I won't be able to give you a true T-score. Also, don't get up, have a beer, go watch the game, go shopping, watch the kids, go to a class and come back. That doesn't give me an accurate account of what you can do in a focused two and a half hour testing session. You want to get as an accurate T-score for me as possible. You have to take this in simulated test environment. And the CHP is not going to let you get up, go home, and then come back and take it later or any other agency. So do that all at one time. Okay, 
So what you do is you come in the right, and there's the sentence clarity, there's the grammar, so you're going to open that. So I'm just going to do it just as if you would do it. So there's your clarity, okay? And then you're also going to open your spelling. And so you're going to do this with all your exam, all the files here. Here's our vocabulary. And then the reading has several different files to it. So I just kind of wanted to show you what, uh, just make sure you don't get confused on the reading. Okay, let's do reading. So the reading is 14, 15, 16, A, B, and C. So all of these are reading, okay? So we're just going to go ahead and open up all the readings. And you're going to see what those readings are. As you can see, there has five questions in this one. And I'm going to open up 15. And that has five questions, so you have now 10 questions. And I'm going to open up 16. And 16 has two more readings. And 16B. has two more readings. And 16C has about um, five or six or seven or eight more readings. Okay, so there's several on that file. And that was it, right? So that was all 20 questions that are on the reading are contained in those files. Okay, then what you want to do is open up the closed test. And I'll have this as a PDF file for you too. But here's your closed test. And there's 40 deleted words just like a regular pellet B. And so you're going to fill in all of these blanks with the word that fits and makes sense. So you have to find a one, two, three, four, five letter word that goes there, right? So you're gonna go ahead and take that. And then after two and a half hours, what you're going to do is you're gonna open up the answers. You get to grade your own test because I want you to be able to see where you missed each of your areas, okay? And then each of the reading has a title, so you just want to look at its title and then write to see what the answers are. And there's a total number of 20 for that, okay? So that's for all the, except, all the sections except the closed answers. And so for the closed answers, you open that and then you're going to grade, okay? And all your closed answers are there. What I want to tell you is that for the closed test, I might have recommended answers, but if you have answers that you wrote down that are not on the key, all you have to do is email me and put the number on the closed test that you were working on. Okay, just put the number. So let's say uh, for number 10, you thought it was one thing, but it wasn't on the answer key. I want you to send me an email and say, for closed exam one, Number 10, I think it's this word, would I get credit? And I will look at that word and I will tell you whether it fits the criteria. So just because it's not on my answer key doesn't mean you won't get credit. So send me your alternatives and I will look at that. Okay, so you've just taken the five parts of the exam. The spelling, the grammar, the vocabulary, the reading comprehension, and the close, which is up on the screen now. I just put up a little better version of one here. You've written down how many you got right out of how many possible in each section. And you've put that on a piece of paper somewhere because you're actually going to put those numbers into a form here in Kajabi so that they can be sent to me so that then I can give you your t-score and then start with your your personalized plan and your assessment of your strengths and weaknesses. Now you'll do this with every practice pellet B test that you take, there's five of them. This is the assessment, but you'll also take two, three, four, and the fifth is the final.
but you'll take those spaced out. Usually it's once every week or once every two weeks, but as we talk during the course, I'll let you know when you can take your next one. Usually I will say one to two weeks or when you feel ready, okay? So what are we going to do with the scores that you've written down? And again, you don't send me the exam. You send me the results. Like maybe it's 10 out of 15 in spelling and 13 out of 15 in vocabulary, things like that. But let me show you what to do. Okay, so you're on this page taking the initial post exam. You want to go back now and you want to record these scores. So where am I going to record those? Well, in your navigation panel right here, if you just scroll down a little bit, you can see that you have a submit exam results here. So let's just click on that and go to that page. It will actually be a form for you to fill out. That comes up and to scroll a little and you can see that use this form to record your answers and be sure to use the drop down menu to say which exam you're using. So pretty easy form to do. And usually it takes me one to two days to get your scores back to you. But if I happen to be getting a lot of scores at one time, it may take a maximum of three days, but generally that is very, very rare, okay? And if it's your assessment exam, I try to get that back to you within 24 hours, but definitely within two days. Okay, so you're gonna put your name here, so I'll just fill out my name just for the, the practice of it, and your email address, but I'm gonna put mine. Of course, you're not gonna use mine, you're gonna use yours. And then this is important, select for which exam you are posting scores. Well, if you're watching this orientation video, then you are probably going to be taking that first assessment test. And then what did you get right on the grammar? So did you get 10 out of 15, 11 out of 15? How many did you get right? So let's say you got 10 out of 15. It's important to tell me what the total is because each exam I have sometimes have various maximum points. So I need you to tell me how many maximum points were for each section of that particular exam. And let's just pretend that you've, you're a really good speller, so we're going to say you got 13 out of 15. And you'll see numbers here in parentheses. This is just an example to show you how to report it. You're, of course, not going to use the numbers in the parentheses unless you got the exact same score. Okay, and let's say that vocabulary is a challenge for you, so we'll say 9 out of 15 there, because the assessment exam for each of these areas all have 15 questions. The reading will have 20 for the assessment exam one. And let's say that you've got 14 out of 20 in your reading. And the close score, let's say that you really have a difficult time on the close, so we'll say 22 out of 40. Okay, so you see that these will be your scores and all you have to do is hit submit. You don't have to mark that as complete, that's just if you want to, but since you're going to be back to this page again, it's not necessary. So you'll submit the scores and you'll get a page that says thank you. And then what I get is a spreadsheet with your scores that are reported just like that. And then I'm able to go in and take a look and off that spreadsheet, go ahead and do my calculations with the formulas that I need to put in on yours, okay? So then you can go back to the course and start navigating again. And you can start studying at any time you want to, but I will have a, a plan of study for you within a couple of days. And while you're waiting for your scores, you can look at anything you want to. You can start anything you want to. I have a lot of videos that you can start watching for grammar or you can start working on your spelling or your vocabulary, reading comprehension, or do some practice closed tests. So it's all here and you can, um, you can study at will. So once again, welcome. And if you have any questions, the best way to reach me is by email at thepostexam at gmail.com. You can also text me at 559-287-5182 and I'll get right back to you and answer your questions. Okay, get busy. Let's get to studying and pass this test.